Hello and welcome. My name is Migdalia Otero Lang and I am the manager of the Learning Technology Center at Valencia East Campus. Today I'm going to review the early warning system in Blackboard 9.1 Learn, tell you what it is, what it does, and how it can work for you. The early warning system is basically a course evaluation tool that you can use to monitor your student progress throughout the course and alert you of possible performance problems. The monitor is based on three basic rules. It could be grade associated, due date associated, or access associated. There are four basic steps to make the early warning system or rule work for you. You first decide in the type of rule that you want to use, whether it's grade, due date, or access associated. You will then create your rule criteria. Thirdly, you will run the criteria to see if any students actually met, met the criteria. And lastly, you will notify the students of further action since they met the criteria. Now that we have covered some basic information about early warning system, let's take a look at it in an actual course. Let's look at it in action. Once you log in into Blackboard 9.1, you will then select the course that you would like to work on. You want to make sure that your edit mode is on, and from the control panel, you will then select evaluation. Evaluation, you will have the early warning system command. In this particular course, I have already created a rule that is named test one low scores. It is a great type of rule, and my my criteria says, test one, I want to find out who of my students have 18 or less in this 25 point test. When I ran the rule, I had four out of 11 actually met my criteria. And I run it on October 19th, okay? Now what I would like to do is create a due date criteria. Due dates are for anything that it has a date defined to it, whether it's an assignment, a test, or a survey. Okay. My rule name is going to be for assignment one. I'm going to have it available. And on number two, I'm going to select from my grade center what is the assignment that I want to be checked on, any sample EDU assignment. The next fields I'm going to leave as default, and I'm going to submit. I receive confirmation that my assignment um, rule has been set up, my due date rule assignment, and I see it right here in my um, options. I have never refreshed it, so the next step it will be to actually refresh it. So I'm going to select in the checkbox and select refresh. I'm going to confirm to refresh this rule. And now I see, now that it has been refreshed, that 10 out of my 11 students actually met my rule. I can proceed now to notify them by clicking on the Options menu, Review st Rule Status, and this is my current class roster and I see from my meets criteria list or column all the yeses that I have for my roster. I can select them all but one and proceed to notify them. What I see on my next screen is an actually an email message that I can then customize as I need it or leave as is and then submit. Next, I see my confirmation that all my students have been notified, those that have selected, about assignment one due date. Okay. One other criteria or rule, early warning rule, that you may find useful is the last access rule, especially to check attendance on a regular basis in your course. I'm going to call it attendance. And on the number two, I'm going to check, I'm going to enter five. 
So I'm going to check students that have, uh, haven't logged in in the past five days. And then I'm going to click Submit. Okay. I will refresh or run my rule. Confirm. And then I see that five out of my 11 have not logged in in the past five days. I will then proceed to notify them. Select the members, the students, and notify them. Okay. And this message has um, to do with the regular attendance is required. Like before, I can choose to personalize and customize this message, or I can leave it as is, and then submit. For every notification that's sent out using the early warning system, there is a log that is maintained. To view the log, click on notification history. You will be able to identify trends and take further action. This concludes this video tutorial on how to use the early warning system in Blackboard 9.1. For further assistance or to learn more about Blackboard 9.1, please visit the Learning Technology Center. We look forward to working with you. Thank you.